Now we are ready to integrate our movie card component with Drupal. So for the movie card, I want to use the teaser display mode that comes with Drupal. Uh, we can see the settings for that if we go to structure, content type, movie. Uh, this is the same area that we'd go to if we wanted to add fields. Uh, we're going to click on this um, box and drop down the arrow, look for edit display. Here you can choose from uh, the default display mode or the teaser display mode, and I'm going to choose teaser. Um, the purpose here is to set up the groundwork for our component, like what fields um, should be shown and which ones should be hidden. So let's look at our component um, in the code base just to see what fields we want to show. Um, so I'm going to pull up my JSON file, and then I'm going to go into Drupal, and I want to show the cover image, the MPAA rating, the average rating, and the title. Uh, and this may be a little confusing at first, but the title field is not managed here. That's because it's a required field for every node. So you can see it's attached to the edit content type form. So now I just want somewhere to render the teaser view um, so I can demonstrate. So I'm going to make a view. Uh, this is not a required step to integration. You can use view, you can use paragraphs, you can use blocks, but I'm just going to use a view here so I can get it rendered on the page. I'm going to go to structure, views, add a view. I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to choose uh, the movie content type and I want to display teasers of the content type movie. And I'm going to create a page so then we can look at our rendered movie cards. All right, so now that I have my view, I'm going to go to the page that was created for this view and I'm going to open developer tools and I'm going to hover over the first field um, that makes it easier to look for the parent container. So that parent container will be the template for the entire teaser, which will be for the entire component. So be careful here because there are a lot of template suggestions. Um, I'm going to choose node dash dash movie dash dash teaser. Um, and the reason I'm picking that one is because it will go to all teasers for the movie content type. So these suggestions go from top to bottom with most specific to least specific. So we'll see, um, you know, the one at the top will say node view. This is just a test page one. So that would be, I'm only writing, overwriting this very specific page. So only node one we are changing. I don't want to do that. I want to do that for all movie content types. Um, so that's why the one in the middle, near the middle, node movie teaser will apply to all movie card teasers. Um, and if we go lower to be least specific, then that's to all nodes. So whether it's a blog, a movie, and we don't want that either. So now that I know what template name I want to use, I'm going to create a new folder um, in the code base and I'm going to put it under source in the theme folder and I'm going to call it templates. Then I'm going to create a file named node dash dash movie dash dash teaser dot html dot twig, which is the uh, template suggestion we just grabbed. This is how Drupal will know, hey, you have this template file, you have this component, you're putting this component in this template file. This is how Drupal knows where it wants to go. All right, so what do we add here? It's a blank file. Uh, well, usually I copy another node template um, so I can kind of get all the starter content and comments. Uh, but since this is our first one, maybe we can look at another template from core. So let's look for node.html.twig. Uh, I'm not going to use the code in here, so I'm going to pick up these comments. Um, and I'm going to paste them into my new node movie teaser html.twig file. Um, I'm going to do this because I like having these comments here. It gives a really great breakdown of the variables that are available to all the nodes. Um, it's a good idea to have it if you're new and you're still learning Drupal. 
So the very first thing I do when I make a template override is to add test content to make sure Drupal is picking it up. Um, so I might write like something like test or this is the right template. And what I hope to see is after I clear caches, uh, the content is gone that I saw before and replaced with my new test uh, description. Um, obviously I don't want to keep this, but this is just a really quick way for me to say, yes, this works. And then I remove it. All right. So we already made our movie card component and pattern lab. We already styled it. Um, we have it mocked up. Um, so I don't, I don't want to rewrite this code. Um, that's not really the point of component based development. Uh, what I want to do is point, um, this template file and point to the pattern lab component that I made and say, use these styles, use this markup. I'm just going to, I'm going to pass you, um, the, the, the fields that I want to use. I'm, I'm going to have you map them, but you're pointing to the component we already made. All right. So I've started off with a twig embed statement. Um, you can check out uh, the previous videos about twig embeds and includes, you can use either of them here. In this situation, I'm using the twig embed because I know I'm going to use twig blocks. Um, and I will get to that part later. All right, so just get the structure out. I went ahead and added the movie title field. Um, I'm actually going to modify that later and do it a little bit differently. I'm going to split this off into another video where we can focus more on integrating the fields. Mm -hmm. 